गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन इट्स सेवेंथ फेब्रुवरी टू थाउजेंड सेवेंटीन एंड वेलकम टू दिस एडिशन ऑफ प्रो एम टी ट्रेडर्स डाइजेस्ट लेट मी गो थ्रू द डिस्कलेमर फर्स्ट ट्रेडिंग इन स्टॉक्स डेरेवेटिव इन्वॉल्व सब्सटेंशियल रिस्क ऑफ लॉस एंड नॉट सुटेबल फॉर ऑल इन्वेस्टर्स पास्ट और सिमुलेटेड परफॉर्मेंस इज नॉट अ गारंटी ऑफ फ्यूचर रिजल्ट All indicators, strategies shown in the video are for education purpose only. All levels discussed in this video are for understanding the study and not a recommendation to trade. Please consult your personal financial advisor before making any trade decision based on this video. We will not be responsible for any resulting profits or losses. So let's have a look at uh, what Nifty Futures has done. a gap up open and uh, then if you can see uh, there is a there is a pull back uh, after the gap up open there's a uh, it uh, pulls pulls back and uh, then the b period pushes into the <coughs> 8825 which was uh, yesterday uh, in the traders digest I was expecting a push into the eight eight four zero. Now, almost half of the push was accomplished in the B period itself. Then the C period becomes inside bar. D period is still within the IB, but if you can see a slow and silent one-time framing since the D period. the e and f period are not able to break the low the f period again becomes a inside bar but and that means you are not getting a low below the d period low so e period makes a higher high g period again does not make a higher high but again h period makes i period makes so here uh i saw many messages about a failed auction at the highs this is not a failed auction because for having a failed auction see auction failures keep on happening in every time frame so if we had a 1 minute chart and there was a range established and if this would go above the uh uh swing high on the 1 minute then uh, we would consider it then we would consider it to be a uh, auction failure but here there is no auction failure because what does it do the auction failure of because uh, for doing a auction failure you require something you cannot get a auction failure of uh, nothing so basically those who follow uh, the ib so this was the this was the ib suppose if h period went above in the h period itself it came down and then if the i period would not have gone up not even above the ib then it's the failed auction of the ib condition is in any of these periods it has to later break this ib low now instead there is a failed auction of the ib on the lower side now this failed auction on the lower side would get confirmed if the k or l period would push above the ib but here the j period went below the ib failed and in the j period itself came up so you have got a failure to be confirmed above the ib so that is that is the auction failure rule of the ib as per ray beros again he has not defined if it can go this much or not he has defined a one tick failure which means that j period comes down and instantly reverses back now that has also not happened a uh, few people consider that 30 minutes did not trade above ib so a failure for a failure to stay for 30 minutes so 29 minutes will be considered a failure so i would consider that 29 minute theory a failure instead of considering a i auction failure auction failures need to be very prompt instant and swift anyways uh 
so that was that was about the IB to clear the confusion. Now the close is at the HVN, uh, the fairest price where the volume traded highest during the day, and uh, almost like a almost like a balance. So we need to see what what's the uh, consensus today because uh, uh, RBI policy coming up tomorrow. So uh, there will be a calm before the event and in that case we'll have a look at how 8780 behaves today. So let's have a look on the one minute. Uh, a nice nice channeled move up from the beginning and a channel move down. So uh, tries to push higher, fails, comes back lower and then finally A, a nice channeled move. Now this, this is not a rising channel but if you see you are getting higher highs at frequent intervals and almost like a balance. So a bigger balance is here then goes higher. You get the first higher balance here and then a break from that failure. So this, this range and a failure is non, uh, known as a auction failure. So that is there on the one minute. Even if you see on a 3 minute or 5 minute you will get that there is a range established. Only one bar spikes above the range and falls back into the range. So that is that is uh, a nice failure. So when, you, when we get the failure the probability of revisiting a known reference is higher and where is the known reference here? The known reference is this this the lower balance midpoint. So it pushes into that, creates a balance here and then again starts its move up. A channel move up goes sideways and closes there. So not much, not much activity post this channel rise. Uh, the volume drops and both the buyers and sellers losing control. They want to the buyers want to book out uh, in the close, the sellers also want to book out in the close. So basically post this huge gap up and initiative activity, uh, there is no initiative activity to carry it forward and uh, all day time frame players uh, playing within the range. Now on the 15 minutes, as usual, we, we have a uh, <clears throat> sellers coming here but this this gives a sign that this highs would be taken out because the sellers are not able to push through this so there is no supply uh, coming in on the lower side and one no demand bar comes up and a no supply bar comes up this congestion when crossed gives you a higher target of a rotation up this buyer getting stuck exactly at the highs and a push down with the seller huge seller getting stuck in the lows. So this, this is a normal behavior I've been talking about every day. Now everyone would be used to seeing this. I don't even need to talk about this. Pushes into the 150% range extension of previous day. So overall we got a 261.8% extension. Now let's have a look at the Renko. So on the Renko we have a zipper forming, leaves the zipper and tests it back. That, that's, that's, the, uh, that's where you think that this is going to push higher. You get an impulse up, a pullback, a pullback which is very scary because it, uh, if it pushes through this zipper we need to exit. but. Uh, Fortunately, it's staying above that zipper and then moves higher. This, this does not uh, move higher into an impulse. So create the zipper to lean upon on uh, any reversal from here. So this reversal, you, you get shot into the zipper and then a move down into the lows. Again, pushes back is not, not able to break the lows and any any move above the zipper is again a buy. So that uh, impulse happens, pull back, impulse and then gets into a choppy move. 
closes at the fairest price where, where the highest volume is being traded. So overall a nice balance on the volume as well with uh, one HVN sticking out a bit at uh, 87, 86 kind of zone. Now let's see what, what can we expect in uh, today's trade. Uh, let's make it shorter so that we know uh, we can find references on the higher side. So expecting a open either into this. So open somewhere into the value, into the volume value. Uh, if it opens up, tries to push into the 8815 zone, fails, moves back down into, into this zipping zone. So around 8790. If it, if it finds uh, uh, buyers here, then push back up. This time push through this and move into the 8820 zone. Check check for any selling. If the sellers fail, then move up into the 8840 zone and above 8840 move into the 8870 zone. Suppose if it gets lot of selling into the 8815 zone or into the 882023 zone, then this move would continue in a pattern like it would push through the 8790, push below the low. Initially, go and check this swing high. And then later, try to push up, fail and make its move down into the 8755 kind of zone. So that is what I'm expecting. Not much of a move before the event. And suppose this gets volatile, then uh, uh, it will be risky uh, for the longs because if it's able to push through this, then uh, will be risky for the longs uh, tomorrow. So that is that is what I expect uh, for the Nifty. Now let's have a look at the bank Nifty. open and a push up a huge huge short covering happening in the initial uh, half so a short covering profile now when when there is no consensus about this there is a ledge forming and when you get a breakdown of this there's a pullback low if you get a breakdown of that <clears throat> the normal behavior of the auction would be to give a pullback low in the mid afternoon or the afternoon session. So I was expecting a visit of the open which did not materialize but we got a nice pullback low pushing back in not getting any consensus in the developing point of control and creating another balance here. So when we split and see you have two balances but uh, now when you merge it together we need to see what does it show. Shows a short covering profile which is not uh, very normal. But uh, the auction has proved that it has no consensus lower. So you see the gradation here is still there is there is it's getting heavier but gradually dropping there is no <coughs> no consensus in the lower prices. On the one minute we have a long channeled consolidation. So a channeled move up then goes into a con uh, first it breaks into this <clears throat> uh, in the morning point of control and then pushes back up creates balance here breaks through that balance tests it back and then makes its move down then again creates a balance here and makes its move higher where does it uh, Similarly, well, how we are looking uh, in Nifty from the top, it comes lower. Similarly, we look here that it goes into the higher balance. So makes its move into the day POC, which is also the higher balance POC. Fails there, comes back into the VH of this lower balance and settles at the uh, POC of the middle balance forming here and below, just below the VWAP get a nice volume spike into the lows 
and uh, apart from that not much of the spikes at the highs now on the 15 minute we have a buyer getting stuck there at the highs and then sellers taking control this is important that after the buyer getting stuck if the sellers are able to take control then whenever you see lower values see this is this low is lower and there you get a buyer getting stuck your intention is that consider this as a test and uh, initiate a sell so that sell materializes with seller getting stuck again at the lows and then makes its move higher into the into the uh, price where the high, highest volume is being traded because this has this has become the volume point of control and there is a huge hvn higher as well let's have a look at the bank nifty futures renko chart so here i'll i'll again make it 120 so a symmetric uh, symmetric rise impulse pullback impulse pullback impulse pullback gets a bit messy here but the pullbacks are not breaking any of the previous lows not going into the zippers as well so that that's quite quite nice still that doesn't happen we are we are quite sure that this is going to work finally this zipper is broken you get a test back into the higher zipper that's a sign that uh, it's getting weaker so this impulse pullback zipper breakdown is a selling point expecting a zipper direct oh uh, expecting a impulse directly here which re which results in a choppy move but finally we get an impulse pullback impulse you are getting a zipper here a test of the zipper fails but comes back in so this this is a dicey situation because you are confused you if you have a stop loss below this it's fine but any stop loss here would have been taken out again you get an impulse pullback impulse a bit choppy impulse pullback this impulse is reducing in length so you are you are getting a sign that the move is getting over and as it is you have a higher zipper where the move might end and at, it ends exactly there so a uh, kind of a choppy choppy move in the higher and uh, middle balances and you have a hv in here uh, away from the accepted uh, volume price so let's have a look at uh, what we can expect uh, for today so again the same thing expecting a open somewhere into into this zone suppose if it opens into this zone tries to push push into the 2460 kind of zone fails comes back into the 24 25 420 kind of zone tries to push up into the 435 makes its way down into this lower balance if it gets any consensus then push into that and go to test this high volume node that will be the consensus at 2260 so around a 250 to 180 points drop if it does that in case it pushes here and fails then make its move higher again into the 425 zone pull pull back and then make its way higher and test the highs of today highs of previous day so that's the consensus any any acceptance above this would push it into higher levels of 2550 and later 2590 kind of zone so that that is the expectation for uh, bank nifty and on the sector front uh, the pharma was doing uh, there was there was a bit of uh, failure and a huge pullback where which which uh, like uh, distracted me because I was uh, uh, morning after the open when it pulled back I created more longs in pharma because uh, I was waiting for uh, the pharma to make its move higher so 
after getting out of this balance when i created the longs this this huge rise like gave me confidence but when this failed i was like a bit uh, tensed about what might happen because it was it was like going below the zero line below the opening price but then finally uh, managed to pull pull back up but still now now it's a bit dicey because i wanted to like stay above above this zone so uh, i today i'll expect that i see strength from the morning itself otherwise i'll exit the positions also the psu banks is making a reversal it seems because a huge huge uh, move down directly happening and now in percentage terms it's very minor uh, minus 1.28 percent but it's it's the most uh, weakening index today so uh, the expectation is that uh, when uh, index is in strength uh, for a long period of time and then it's showing weakness we we look at what it's doing at the highs and try to uh, create contra positions for a reversion to mean similarly uh, same same thing with the metals because metal has rallied a lot and showing signs of weakness so i would i would keep a watch on metals auto and uh, cnx psu bank for any weakness and pharma and it for any strength it still does not seem to uh, get any consensus in higher prices so apart from xaver i'm not uh, not betting on uh, any other stuff xaver and tech mahindra so i think that's that's it uh, about today and we'll see how it progresses during the day thanks for watching and have a profitable trading day ahead and we'll catch up during the market hours